this video, I'm going to go over an example ACT problem that involves using permutations. So this reads, an electronic store has a display with four spots that each hold one cell phone. If they have nine different models of phones, how many different ways can they be arranged in the display? All right, so on this one, they have nine different phones and they can put them in order uh, in the display. So when order matters, it's called a permutation. When order does not matter, then that's called a combination. All right, so the easy way to figure this out is set up a line for each spot that they have. So they got four spots, so I'm gonna draw four lines. All right, so for spot one, you need to determine how many different options do they have. So if I have nine phones, if I put one in the first spot, I have nine choices I can choose from. All right. Okay, so I put one phone there. I have eight left. So my second spot, I have eight choices to choose from. So now there's two in the display. So I only have seven left. So in my third spot, I only have seven options to choose from. And then down the line, the next one I have six options. All right. So now to figure out how many ways that can be displayed, you just multiply those all together. Nine times eight times seven times six. And that gives you 3,024. Now the other way to do this is to use the permutation formula, which states n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Okay, so where n is your total number of choices, And R is how many you are choosing. Okay, so in this problem, we have nine we can choose from. That's the number of choices. And we're going to choose four of them because we have four spots. All right, so n is 9, and our r is 4. So we're going to have 9 factorial over 9 minus 4 factorial, which reduces down to 9 factorial over 9 minus 4 is 5, so 5 factorial. Now you can put this in your calculator under your probability section on your calculator. You probably have a exclamation point for the factorial. Otherwise you can reduce it. So nine factorial is the same as nine times eight times seven times six times five factorial. And remember factorial, you just take the number you're starting with multiply by all numbers below it down to one. So nine factorial is nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Now I can, I can change it to nine times eight times seven times six times five factorial because I'm still multiplying them all together. Now on the bottom I have the five factorial and the top and bottom both have five factorial, so they cancel out. So it comes out to nine times eight times seven times six, like we had the easy way. They give you 3,024. Now also, most of these calculators have a permutation function where you have N, P, R. On the TI calculator, TI 8384, if you go under math, and then go over to PRB, then it's option two in PR. 
or also could be found on scientific calculators. Consult your manual on how to find it. So this problem involved permutations where it had how many ways you can order something and there's a distinct spot for each of them. You can simply figure out how many options you have for each spot or you can use the permutation formula.